This is the snowflake ornament. And like most of the other models, it has 10 basic pieces, two big ones, two pairs of medium pieces, and four small pieces all the same. It also has four extra little pieces here that are snowflakes. This one, some of the pieces will fit inside of some of the other pieces, so it's similar to the egg in that regard, but it's different from the heart and the star and the tree and the pear. So these medium pieces, if you notice, one pair has a little slot in the middle that's on the outside edge, and the other pair has the middle slot on the inside edge. So that's an important thing to notice. The first thing we want to do is take this piece that has the little band that wraps around and take a stick, pencil, anything that has that's cylindrical like this and just pull it like that, just the way you would sort of do with a ribbon so that it'll want to go around. Then take this little piece right here, it's got a little bit of a score line, and just fold that down. Now take this and turn it over and take this piece and turn it over and we're going to take we're going to join these middle slots there's the middle slot on this one and here's the middle slot on this one but instead of just sliding together like this one's going to go inside the other so this one half of this piece is going in here like this and it's just going to keep on going until you can't go anymore and then you're going to rotate this piece up which is why we had to fold down this little tab so now you can fold it up and take the band there's a score here right here and fold that back and it has a little cut in it you can push that forward that way it makes it easy to wrap the band around and simply put the tab into the slot there. So now we have the top part of our ornament done. The next part is to make the snowflake that's inside the ornament. So I like to start with a bottom slot. Now these four pieces are all the same. Sometimes they're going to go in one direction and sometimes they're going to go in the other direction. So first I have a slot here on the bottom and I have my middle slot here. I'm going to slide this right in to this slot right here. Now I'm going to turn it like a book and I've got my thumb back here so I'm not going to get the pieces tangled up too much and I'm locating the next slot here which happens to be on the top. So this time I'm going to take my snowflake and turn it so that the middle slot is on the bottom and I'm just going to slide this down. As I do this, I'm going to slide it in front of my thumb so it doesn't tangle with the other piece. Now I need to join the two long arms of these snowflakes. It's this part of the snowflake right here. To do that, I need to pull them apart quite strongly. So I'm just going to take one, pull it one way, and take the other and pull it the opposite way so that I can hook those little arms together and make sure everything is moving freely after you do that. Now I'm just going to keep turning my ornament and there's the last piece that I put in. Put my thumb over that one or my finger over it and locate the next slot which is going to be on the bottom of the large snowflake and here we are ready to slide the little one up and we're going to turn the model sideways and do the same thing with these long legs. Can you see these long legs? Get real close here. White on white is not real helpful. There they are. And now they are going across. The paper is pretty sturdy so you needn't worry about bending it too much. Now the last one has the same sort of situation as the heart and the star where I want to just push these other pieces out of the way, the other snowflake pieces that I put in. There's one and there's the other one. We want those out of the way 
so I can get at this slot right here on the top. And now I'm going to turn my snowflake so that it's going to slide down. And here it goes down. And now again, I'm just going to pull these apart. You really give them a good yank. And my last pair over here. Again, pulling, I'm sort of pulling and twisting at the same time. Okay, so at this point you should have something a little bit lumpy and glumpy. So what I do is I take the model, I collapse it and I wiggle it like that, kind of straighten it out, do the same thing in the other direction. And now I have my snowflake and I can put on the outer pieces. First I'm going to locate some slots that are on the inside edge of the big piece. And notice that this pair of outer rings has its middle slot, their middle slots, on the outside edge of the shape. So that's going to slide into the other one. Like that. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm simply putting those two slots together and just pushing this pushing it through I'm not pulling anything down I'm just letting the shape of the piece do the work now I'm going to put on the other ones and I have slots on the outside here and I have slots on the inside here so this is going to slide on like this on the outside come across up to the top pull it through now these pieces are sort of hitting each other and notice there's a slot to the outside there and on the other piece there's a slot on the inside. So the ones with the slots on the outside are going to slide through the one with the slots on the inside. Same on the other side. And now I just have one piece left to go on the opposite side. Again, I'm going to slide this up here, bring this other piece through like this. And I've got my outer slots here and inner slots here. So this piece is just going to pull through. And the same on the other side, just pulling it through. So now I just have four more pieces to go. And you'll notice all of these are the same. All of these larger pieces that I've put in have slots on the top and the bottom. And these four pieces have slots on the top and the bottom of the outside. So this is a little bit tricky, but I want to, I'm going to have to flex this piece a little bit to get it in. So first I'm going to take those three slots on the bottom and line them up with the three slots on the inside of the model. So get one started and now flex the piece a little bit so you can get in there. I'm completely inside here and I'm pulling these out so that they line up. So now I've got these three slots engaged and on the top I have it lined up and I need to pull this piece forward a little bit. There's the slot. There's my last piece. So I'm just pulling it forward enough to engage those slots. So it had to flex back to get in and then it had to flex forward to engage the top slots. Again, I start with the one, the farthest one out here with the first piece and as I'm pushing it in, I'm pushing it over, I'm letting it flex. I'm lining up the slots on the bottom so it can come down. And now I'm taking that upper part and just flexing it forward so that it engages the slots. Here goes the third one. and just rock this forward and now I just have one more piece flexing it 
line up the bottom, line up the top. Come on. Flex it forward. And there's the model. Collapses. And it's very lovely when it's hanging. 